Have you ever looked at something and thought to yourself, hmm, there's a lot more going on there than I thought. Welcome to the MLS. We're going to describe what it is for you. Hi, this is John Carl with the Nice Agents Real Estate team at Homes and Gardens Real Estate. The MLS system is one of those big enigmas that people seem to misunderstand and, and don't quite get it right. Many people think the MLS system is the public facing website. In Canada, we call it realtor.ca. In the United States, they have a variety of options, but really realtor.com would be the big one. But in Canada, it's realtor.ca. The information there is populated from the MLS system. Uh, the confusion started that it used to be called MLS.ca. Obviously, there's confusion if you're going to call it that. But the MLS goes a lot deeper than that. Think of it as that iceberg and you just see the tip of it. That's the public facing realtor.ca website. But below that, there's a whole bunch more information inside the MLS system. And to get into the MLS system, you have to be a licensed real estate agent, uh, a member of a local association paying fees and dues and all that fun stuff. But inside of that database, we have access to all of the sold records of every property that has been on that database since I think like 1985, it goes back to. Uh, we know what a house is sold for. We have access to the information about the measurements of that property. Uh, and even in more recent years, all of the photographs from before. So, you know, you could be looking at a house on realtor.ca or on our website at niceagents.ca, which I think is a much better interface, just, just saying. But you could be looking at a website there, uh, sorry, at a property on that website and, um, you know, contact us. We could probably pull up the pictures from when that person bought the home if it was in the last, I think, 10 years. Um, we can see what upgrades have been done. We can see the property history of it. We tie into the tax roll. We can pull up the lot measurements. There's all sorts of information that ties into that and gives us access uh, to, to that additional information. So that is the full MLS. And then there's the public facing realtor.ca, which is just the current available property for sale. When a property sells, it leaves realtor.ca, but it does not leave the MLS database. Uh, so there you have it. That's the difference between the MLS and realtor.ca. Hope that answered a question for you. Have a great day. Um...